Thank you for listening. I am Mike Strauss, a.k.a. Strauss21, and this is Apollo Tosh Mahal. We are the guys from the Did You See That Shit Mixed Martial Arts podcast. We know you're going to like the interview, so be sure to like, follow, and subscribe on all the social media platforms, as well as the Missing Time Productions YouTube channel. And don't forget to go to didyouseethatshit.com for a complete rundown of all of our content. Right, Apollo? Yeah. All right, I want to welcome back Mr. Tyrion Ware to the show, one of my favorite people to speak with, one of the baddest men in the planet. And, uh, man, I wanted to uh, wanted to chat with you, man, because uh, you now have something in common with Wonder Boy, huh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How about that, man? Did, did you actually have a chance to, to watch last weekend's Till and Wonder Boy fight? Yeah, I watched it, and then, um, you know, and I watched it again. I watched it twice because I don't know, like, at first, like, when I watched the first time, I was like, maybe I'm just being a little biased because I'm still a little upset about what happened to me. Mm-hmm. And, and I watched it again, and it was a little closer than I originally thought, but I still thought he, I thought it was clear that he won, and um, there's a lot of people that felt the same way, and it's just, there seems to be an issue, you know, in, not just over there, but in the sport in general, but lately it just seems like it's, you know, a lot of the the guys from the UK, when they fight over there, they're getting, they're getting the favoritism, and I don't think it's... I don't think it's right. It's something that has to be corrected. Yeah, definitely, man, because I, I agree with you. I, I really thought Wonder Boy won the fight, and I think if that happened anywhere else besides the U.K., I think that, that Wonder Boy is probably getting that decision. Yeah. Same with you. I think that if your fight happened anywhere else besides, uh, you know, over there, I think that you got your hand raised on that night. Yeah, I mean, I, I 100%, I think so, too, as well. And, um, yeah, I mean, it's... It's unfortunate, man. It's a part of the sport, and hopefully, you know, uh, like with any new sport, the sport is still new. Um, in the beginning, there's always going to be, you know, bumps in the road, and, uh, you know, I'm just hoping that uh, that soon, before I retire, you know, they start figuring this thing out, man, and they start getting it done corrected. Yeah. Has uh, have the UFC, have they came back and offered you uh, any fights yet? Um, no, but, um, I mean, look, you know, they're definitely going to have me back, and um, I'm looking... I'm looking to get something soon, um, and then, you know, if somebody falls out, I'm staying ready, and you know, I'll be one of the first options, and my manager is, you know, he's very, uh, uh, he talks to Shelby a lot, and um, so I'll be getting something soon. Yeah, I can't wait, man, because as I said, uh, I think that you're one of the most talented and well-rounded fighters in the entire UFC. I mean, you've had a, a hard run. I mean, you, you fought, the, the guys that you've fought are, are super tough. I mean, Cody Stamen, Sean O'Malley, we're starting to see is a, is a serious contender. And then, of course, uh, Tom DeCoisnay. I mean, all those guys are very tough. You've had a tough draw in the UFC. I'm hoping that you get a more favorable matchup so you could really show what you're made of, you know? Yeah, um... Yeah, I mean, yeah, the first couple of fights were, you know, getting tough, and um, I had some things that I had to correct, and um, I felt like I've done that, and, uh, yeah, I mean, it happens for different people, you know, some people come in, and they, and they get right away some favorable matchups, and they're able to go on a win streak, and, you know, get ranked, and stuff like that, and then, you know, so you have other guys sometimes, like, you know, they'll come in, and maybe, maybe lose the first couple, and then get it going, and, um... You know, that's what we're going to do, you know, get it going, you know, get this next one, get this one under my belt, um, and get, you know, get a few more and just get on a roll and then uh, start working my way into that top 15, top 10 and, and see where it takes me. For sure. What did you think, uh, or, or rather, what do you think of the UFC deal? Do you think that's going to change things up for the better? Um, I certainly hope so. I mean, it's, it's hard to tell right now. I definitely think it's, I definitely think it's, um... Uh, you know, with ESPN, you know, one of the things that I said, it's like ESPN is no, it's a sports channel. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? There's nothing really else going on on ESPN but sports. With Fox, you have, you know, different TV shows that have been established for, you know, years and years. So the audience that you're getting on, on Fox, you know, sometimes you're getting casuals that might not be really paying too much of attention or really caring about it. They're looking at other shows. Was the people who were tuning into ESPN, even though they might be casuals and might not know the sport of MMA, they're tuned in for a specific reason. They're tuned in to watch sports. So you know, this is if they're watching the MMA for the first time and it's a new sport, they're going to be more inclined to you know be more interested in it and not change the channel when you know MMA comes on. And um, I think it'll just broaden the audience a lot more. And I think just yeah, for the future, you know, I mean, more people watching 
gives more opportunity for the fighters and, you know, hopefully just more money as well, too. Yeah, that's a good point, man. That's one that I, I really didn't think about too much. But you you uh, you highlighted some very interesting points, man. Definitely. Now, uh, real quick here, you're one of my favorite follows on social media, man. You're absolutely uh, hilarious with with your commentary. Of course, that's on Instagram and Twitter at flash underscore MMA underscore UFC. One of the things I saw you put out the other day was this uh, in regards to the uh, the Pusha T and Drake beef. Uh, what's your feelings on this? Um, I mean, for me, like I grew up with. You know, Pusher T, you know, like, you know, I've been listening to the rap, you know, and, you know, he's one of the guys that, you know, in high school, you know, the song Grinding, everyone was making that beat hit down the desk. And, <laughs> you know, that's something that uh, I've grown up with. And, you know, and, and now, you know, being older, you know, Drake has, you know, been more in the spotlight. Um, I think it's good for hip hop, man. I think it's like the same thing like you see in the May when you have these kind of rivalries, you get people to pay more attention to it. And I think lately, you know, kind of like the new school hip hop, um, it's different, and it's been a lot of pushback, and people, you know, don't like mumble the, the mumble rappers and stuff like that. And then you hear people say, you know, hip hop is dead and other things like that. And it's like, I think with this rivalry, and you have two guys that you know are superstars, you know, in their own rights, you know, kind of going at each other, you know, now you're starting to see, you know, a lot more attention. Like my Twitter feed was just full of this, you know, Drake and Pusha T beef. Like I haven't seen anything, you know you know, in the last couple of years, like that, that in hip hop that got that much attention. So I think it brings a, a attention. I think it's good. Yeah, I agree with you, man. And uh, you're right. There hasn't been anything like that explosive in the hip hop world in quite some time. And uh, I think you're right. I think it is good for hip hop. Both of these artists, Pusha T and Drake, it's not a coincidence. They both have albums dropping this summer. Yeah. I mean, I don't know if it's a, if it's a, if it's a publicity stunt um, or if it's just something that's natural. Um, but um, it's working, and um, I'm excited about it. I'm excited to see, you know, what it, where it takes them. And, and, you know, I think, you know, both of those guys, you know, it's going to cause the game to elevate. And I think other rappers are going to see that as well, too, in there. You know, if they have, you know, some beef that's been kind of underlying, you know, they're going to, you know, they're going to make sure that they're in the studio. They're going to make sure that they're writing stuff down and have something ready to go in case somebody comes after them. And I think it's just going to elevate everyone else's game. Yeah, I think you're right, man. I think you're right about that. And, and I think that you're right, too, about how it kind of ties into MMA with, uh, you know, the more publicity, the more hype gets people talking. It's good for everybody. Are you going to be watching the fights uh, tomorrow night, uh, the Utica fights? Uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, obviously the main event, you know, those guys are in my weight class. So I'm always trying to watch guys in my weight classes. You know, I envision maybe, you know, fighting one of those guys later in my career. So, um, and it's an exciting matchup. You know, at the same time, I'm a fan of the sport as well, you know. Uh, I'm, a, I'm a fan of even guys in my weight class. And I know some people kind of shy away from that. They don't want to be like, oh, you can't be a fan of guys that you're potentially going to fight, you know, because then, you, you know, it's going to mess up your mentality. But, you know, to each his own, I'm different. I can I could be a fan of somebody and, and fight them and show up and have no problem doing it. So, uh, yeah, I'm always watching the fights whenever I can. You guys at 135 pounds, I've been saying this for a long time, you are the gift that keeps on giving. You guys are incapable of having a boring fight, man. So thank you. And uh, I can't wait to see what's next for you, Tyrion, because I, I truly believe that you're one of the best in the world, and I can't wait for you to prove that in the UFC. Thanks, Mike, man. I really appreciate it. Man, I thank you for doing this, and I'd love to have you back on. No problem, man. Anytime. Thanks for having me. Anytime.